Welcome, this is one of many sections that are going to cover the various different features of project parking. This particular section provides an overview of project parking and highlights some of the key features within the application. Project parking can help you understand what's using up space on your avid storage, move your projects between media composer workstations, archive your projects and optimize redundant utilized storage. This is the project parking user interface and key areas of the applications are contained in tabs. The Home tab shows a list of all the average projects that Project Parking has automatically detected. To the right, we have a list of all your workspaces. From this interface, you can do simple archives of a project, where you can select which bins to archive, how to archive them, and where they get archived to. We can also archive incremental versions for project backups. Another key feature is the ability to transfer projects. Within the transfer options, we can copy move to an external drive or to a laptop or other workspace. Having performed the storage analysis, we're able to show all the projects and how much space they're using up on the various workspaces. We can see a summary of all the workspaces within the storage analysis summary. This includes a summary of all the unique, duplicate and orphan files across all workspaces. We can even sort by size, so we can find the largest project and then look at the analysis of the project, how many files it has, which workspaces it is using and how much space has been utilised. We can analyse individual workspaces too including a list of all the projects and associated media contained in the workspace. When using the workspace analysis, you can determine how many orphan files and duplicate files are stored within the workspace. Orphan files are files that are not referenced by any project within the selected workspace. Duplicate files can be securely deleted and orphan media can be swept to a different storage platform. On the Archive and Restore tab, we have a list of all the archives that were ever created by Project Parking. You can create versions of archives so that you can easily restore individual bins from one project archive to any other project. And finally, over in the Activity tab, we can see activity progress and any information messages. During this section, we introduced the user interface, project and workspace listing, storage analysis, project archiving, transferring of media, and project and workspace analysis.